here today with Professor Jens Rieke to talk about his upcoming session at the CRC 2020 Summit. So Professor Rieke, here's my first question. Uh, during the CRC 2020 Summit, you'll be speaking on radioembolization for primary and secondary liver tumors. Why is it important to feature this topic at the summit? Um, it's qu quite simple to answer. The, uh, the overall question, does radioembolization make sense and when does it make sense, has not been answered in full. There is concepts and ideas we have and pursue that you know, seem intriguing. But the classic, um, everything's done, we have phase three data, that has not been finalized. So we're awaiting a vivid discussion on when to use and in specific, when not to use radioembolization. What does the latest data tell us about radioembolization for primary and secondary liver tumors? And the second part of the question, what new data can we expect in the coming years? Well, um, Data that has emerged over the past one or two years is this in specific, uh, this is in regard of primary liver cancer, which is predominantly HCC. Unfortunately, we don't have data on cholangiocellular. In HCC, it seems to be conflicting, but it is not. Um, there have been a few negative trials in terms of you know, biostatistical approaches. However, giving us, uh, in specific, in comparison to Zorafenib, a very good idea of where radioembolization might, might, might stand. Conflicting is there is data that is emerging, data that has you know, been published or will be published very soon. A tumor dose is decisive. If you look at the data we have already, already it's not necessarily tumor dose, but it is more about liver toxicity. So the truth is somewhere in the middle of primary liver cancer. It is a mixture of, do I get the dose in the tumor? Uh, and do I preserve liver function? And that's where, that's where radiomization is going to go in primary liver cancer. And I believe there is going to be strong data in the future as well. And then we'll see. In secondary liver cancer, in, you know, in, in, in metastatic disease, it's much harder. I personally don't see there is uh, clear data, there's no randomized trials I'm aware of. So we're stuck, we're still stuck with the phase two data we have and the negative trial, which is the Zoflux data on the colorectal. Uh, we will see what's coming out. Again, uh, room for vivid discussion. And again, if you ask me personally, uh, room for a discussion on liver toxicity, which is my major topic. Who should watch this session? <laughs> Anybody who is interested in interventional oncology must uh, attend this meeting, if you ask me. Um, I'm sure there's going to be, well, I, I was always referring to a vivid discussion. It will be vivid. I mean, if you really mean it, um, there is, you know, the data, I, I would, as I said, it was conflicting. There is room for vivid discussion. So, so attend it. Uh, you're not going to get bored, I'm sure. Okay, and finally, my last question. What takeaway points can people expect from your session? The takeaway points are, first, uh, I'm sitting in the tumor conference. What are my arguments in primary liver cancer? Second, uh, what are my arguments in secondary liver cancer? And third, takeaway point, uh, to feel better about decisions I make. I make a decision, I recommend, I perform radiobization in my patients. And given this meeting, given this session, I believe uh, you'll feel much better when you're going home and at night uh, with the decisions you've taken during the day.